Tatlong araw bago ang nakarang araw ng Pasko, binigyan ng Food and Drug Administration ng Emergency Use Authorization ang Pfizer para maiturok sa mga bata na may edad lima hanggang labing isa ang kanilang COVID-19 vaccine. Ngayong araw, sinabi ni Vaccine Sar Carlito Galvez na tuloy na tuloy na sa darating na Pebrero a 4 ang pediatric vaccination sa 5 to 11 year old age group. Ang Department of Health sa pamagitan ng kilalang pediatrician na si Doktora Mary Ann Bunye at kabilang ito sa National Immunization Technical Advisory Group for COVID-19 Vaccine Pediatric Infectious Disease ipinaliwanag ang mga naging resulta ng clinical trials ng Pfizer vaccine sa mga bata sa Estados Unidos. So the number of study participants during that time in the United States was 2,260 participants for the 12 to 15 year old and 2,268 participants in the 5 to 11 year old. For the vaccine efficacy for the adolescent age group was 100% and for the 5 to 11 year old was 91%. The adverse reactions, if you will notice, are almost the same. Okay, most of the study participants complained of local reactions secondary to the vaccine. And what, what was this? Pain over injection site. Okay, similarly, for the 5 to 11-year-old, it's pain over injection site, which comprised 71 to 74% of the reactions which were reported. Paliwanag ni Bunye, 10 micrograms lamang ng dose ang ituturok sa mga edad 5 hanggang 11 at napakahalaga din anya na ang takip ng vial ay orange at hindi ang purple cup na para sa mga nasa edad 12 pataas. For the dosage, the 12 to 15 year old received the same adult dose at 30 micrograms and given as 0.3 ml. For the 5 to 11 year old, The dose was one third of the adult dose, which is 10 microgram given at 0.2 ml. The preparation for the 12 to 15 year old okay, um, is a purple cap. Okay, the vial is a purple cap or a gray cap, which is a multi-dose vial, uh, up to six doses per vial. Okay, the vial which is used for the 5 to 11 year old has an orange cap. It is also a multi-dose vial which is good for 10 doses. Sinabi din nito na bagamat may ilang vaccine makers ang may aplikasyon na sa FDA para magamit sa pediatric vaccination, ang mga ito ay hindi pa nabibigyan ng emergency use authorization dahil kulang pa sila sa mga dokumento. Sa ngayon, tanging ang Pfizer brand lamang ang inaprobahan na maiturok sa mga bata. Ibinahagi din ni Bunye ang mga binipisyo na mabigyang proteksyon na rin ng mga bata simula sa edad lima. So the direct benefit will be to prevent SARS-CoV-2 infection and that includes protecting the child against severe disease, hospitalization, and getting severe or long-term complication like missing. Indirect benefits will include reduced likelihood of the viral transmission as modelers will consider the contribution of children in community transmission. And number two, partially protect further disruption of classes and providing safer in-house learning. Paalala lang din niya, higit sa mga magulang. Vaccination is a strong arsenal. Navigating this pandemic, let's push for it. Not only the COVID-19 nation, but the other disrupted vaccinations that are offered in the national immunization program. Remember, there is no perfect vaccine, and each vaccine has its expected side reaction that does not automatically translate to a reduced efficacy or a safety signal. There may be very rare adverse events that may be associated with vaccines, but we always weigh benefits of giving it over the risk of getting down with the disease and its complications which the vaccine can prevent. Samantala pag-amin ng doktora, maging ang mga eksperto ay nahihiwagahan pa rin sa obserbasyon na masasabing banayad na maituturing ang epekto ng COVID-19 sa mga bata maging ang mga hindi pa bakunado.
yun na ang nakakagulat eh. Magpasa hanggang ngayon, um, marami pa rin uh, chorya ang uh, um, ang inilalabas ng uh, ng mga ebidensya pero wala talagang isang uh, dahilan kung bakit mas banayad kay mas banayad ang mga sintomas sa mga bata kasi hanggang ngayon kahit iba-iba na yung mga variants natin kung mapapansin lalo na ngayon mas kalat ang uh, ang virus ganun pa rin ang sintomas ng mga bata lagnat sipon ubo tapos sa loob ng isang linggo okay na sila wala kasi pagbabago so wala pa ring uh, matukoy na iisang dahilan kung bakit mas banayan ang mga sintomas sa mga bata. Sisimula ng pagbabakuna sa 5 to 11 age group sa 24 vaccination sites sa Metro Manila at ayon kay Galvez, dadalhin na ito sa ibang rehiyon makalipas ang isang linggo. Janice Cosio, Radio Inquirer Online, Bayan Nagtatanong, Mamaya Nag-Usisa.